little hazy cloud cover tonight. Back up the middle into center field by Franklin. And the first two have reached here for the Mavericks in the first inning. Corona and infield hit. And that was hit hard by Lindsey Franklin. That she's settling in and starting to see the ball well. This one is Bunnett. Keeney out of the circle. Throws it past Sanders into right. A run will score. Boone's throw comes into third. And it's 1-0 UT Arlington. So it'll be a sacrifice and then a throwing error in all likelihood against Keeney to play the first run of the night. Mavs coming to play, making the defense work, making Keeney. Look how far she has to come out of that circle. And with the speed of Nysis, she's putting the pressure on Keeney not only to range over and field that ball, but make a good play quickly. In the hole, kind of short hop there, but nicely played by Tiare Jennings. The inning is over, but the Mavs get a couple of hits and push a run across, and the Sooners have to respond. Reno has this one deflected off of Corona. A hard hit one hopper by Jada Coleman. Leadoff single for the Sooners. As I live there. Chad Spittler is our plate umpire tonight. That one hit to short. Cavazos able to get the flip play there to second base and cut down Jada Coleman. Ella Parker safe at first and the Big 12 plays 9 of 10 in the stolen base department this year. Popped up on the infield. Looks like it's going to stay in fair territory and Lindsey Franklin the first baseman backs up and puts it away. Two gone. Pickering lifts this one into shallow left field and that will be caught out there. Yeah, I think being able to stay in the moment, not let pressure get too big for you is going to be key. Backhanded here by Torres. She's able to retire Nikki Donahue to start the second inning. You have, but coming in and getting the midweek start. Fly ball toward left. Pickering chases over into the gap to put away out number two. But getting that midweek start. Cavazos hits this one speared by Brito on a short hop and the inning is over. So Keeney works a one, two, three second. It is one nothing UTA on top. Super Brito rolls this one back toward the shortstop and it's off the glove of Cavazos. Brito will be safe at first. I will say this. Chew up. Here's Sidney Sanders in the air toward fairly shallow left and diving in comes Brinacy. It's Paris Brinacy. Athlete that Alina Torres is. Had a 1-7 pop time to second base on those throws and she drills this one to center field. It's gone. Alina Torres puts the Sooners on top with a two-run blast to straightaway center field. It's 2-1 to one, Oklahoma. Utility player deluxe, but man, can she swing the bat as well. Torres is, gives the Sooners the lead with one swing of the bat and doing such a great job. That pitch elevated up in the zone just a bit and taking it right back where it came from. Great piece of hitting by Torres. That was another thing Coach Gasso talked about in the press conference. She looks comfortable. She has found to that starting lineup, starting rotation, especially at a school like Oklahoma. Oh man, that one hit by Boone right back up the middle. And we'll see if that got a piece of Moreno. That home run, by the way, was brought to you by O.E. Who is your quote unquote number two? I mean, it's such a luxury. This will be picked off by Corona, the third baseman for the second out is Loveland. Loveland pops out and it's back to the top of the order. I think you're winning, right? Once the loss happens, it's a little bit more, we need to shape up. We need to get sharper. A wild pitch going to move Riley Boone into scoring position. And walks away from every team and goes, there are things that we need to be better on. Pulled through the right side by Coleman. Boone is around third. That ball got away from Nicole Hill. Coleman can fly. She races to third. That throw gets away and she'll circle on. Jada Coleman plates two. There will be an error. Coleman, crazy speed here. But again, aided by a few errors. You can see 
as an outfielder, you need to get behind that ball. You cannot let that ball get past you, but also hit your cut. That right there is why Jada Coleman, she got waved around third by Patty Yasso saying, go for it. There's no one there backing up that ball. Really good range out there. Back up the middle and misplayed there by Zaya Castrita. That'll get out into right center field. On the move once again is Parker. She has swiped her second base of the night. She is making these plays happen. And that's a walk to Tiare Jennings. The Sooners have batted around now as Cassidy Pickering is set to come to the plate. And there's ball four to load the bases. And Alyssa Brito, who started the inning by reaching on an error, will get another shot. You know your role. <laughs> yes. No guessing there. Oh, so am I the middle reliever? <laughs> this is drilled to deep left field. High and deep. And it is gone. A grand slam for Alyssa Brito. And it's 8-1. Oklahoma has unloaded in the bottom of the second inning. and got things rolling, but just took a mistake from Moreno and made the freshman pay. And that home run is presented by OERB, the people of Oklahoma Oil and Natural Gas. And now we will have a pitching change on the part of the Mavericks. Hit 10 home runs this season and 21 walks. Both lead the Big 12 and there's walk number 22. <laughs> so, what do you do with her? She hits it out of the ballpark and into counts. But now that you add in her bats on fire, this is smoked to left field by Torres, and she has homered for the second time in the inning. Two two-run home runs in the second inning. Ducks are wild, they say. Three twos, two two-run home runs in the second for Torres. Look at this pitch here. It's that same one that Alyssa Brito just hammered. That low and inside pitch. Different pitcher, yes, same location. <laughs> she knows that's two. <laughs> and it's presented by OERB. The it's like it's a regular situation. It feels like a regular. And Boone hits a high drive to left center field. That's off the wall in left center. Boone's going to stop and take a look at second base. And she will hold right there. Of runs. And you saw that this past weekend against Texas Tech. Clearly, they're continuing it right there. And there is ball four to Ludlam. So to let their pitcher know, we're ready. We are ready for this ground ball. We're ready to get out. There's a ground ball backhanded by Castrita, and she'll take it to the bag. Completely new on defense. And we're in the third. This is Avery Hodge gobbling this one up. And able to retire Hill for the first out in the third. Ovation. Recognizing what she did for that program. Beautiful bunt that's going to be a base hit. So she's two for two. And another multi-hit game for really settling in and letting her pitches work with a nine run lead. That flare lands fair down the left field line. Pickering will pick it up and it's back to back singles for Corona and Franklin. Just player of the week. Laid down a sacrifice bunt. Sooners committed an error and the Mavericks got a run out of it as Torres has to double clutch on that one at third. Still able to retire Lindsey Franklin at second base. Not a grand slam but it is cutting nibbling at that lead. It's only a third inning. Rolled right back to Keeney. She'll make the play at first. Inning over. No runs on two hits. And a pair left for the Mavericks. Flared out into left center field. Pretty well struck there by Ella Parker, who has her second hit. I, I have that experience. This isn't my first game going in. Lilia rifles this one out into left center field. That is headed all the way to the warning track. Nicest picks it up on the track. Lilio cruises to second with the double. And Lilio brings in Cassidy Pickering. 
was 0 for 1 with a walk. Fly ball left center, and the center fielder Nysis is there. Ella Parker is going to tag at third and cross the plate. It'll be a sacrifice fly for Cassidy Pickering, driving in the 11th sooner run of the night. And it's just coming through in everything that she does. Yeah, three home runs and seven runs driven in in her last two games, does Brito. And Hodge draws the one out walk. Got it going on. Sanders pops this one up. Straight away center field. Nysis calls for it and has it two down. Lifted to center, had to reach out for that one. And Nysus puts that one away as well. Sooners get one more run and lead 11-1 as we head to the fourth. Sooner softball is presented by OU Health. Conference play as well to have a non-conference matchup like that. Driven to straightaway center field, back to the wall. Core reaches up, pulls it back into the park, probably saves a home run as Caitlin Saylor has to stop at second base. Not an everyday starter. Getting to know that outfield wall, that is a special relationship. If you're an outfielder, you know. Donahue pops this one up on the infield. Quincy Lilio takes care of it. Zaya Castrita down swinging as Guerin gets out number two. That is a first strikeout. This pretty hard, pretty square to get through the infield. But this is the third inning in a row. UTA has had a runner in scoring position. Hodge over to take this one and able to retire Cavazos. But got to be really encouraging. Yeah, I, from watching this team, and again, tough night as Maya Bland laces. That out to right field for a leadoff single. But one of the toughest things to do is see the culture at play in this team, regardless of what the scoreboard says. Popped up here by Ludlam out near second base. And Castrita puts away to hire that third assistant. And they hired Elizabeth Mason, who played at Florida State. This one is driven, hit very well by Core. It's off the top of the wall in right center field. Maya Bland racing around third. She stumbled a little bit, but dives back in. And the Sooners have runners at second and third on a Hannah Core double in the fourth. Pulls this one. May have gotten a piece of the glove of Gutierrez, but the throw to first by Kestrita. Able to retire Ella Parker. Still, Maya Bland comes in to score the Sooner run. And it's 12-1, Oklahoma in the fourth. Four. And Alyssa Brito has a grand slam. Lelio goes after that one. And Gutierrez gets a strikeout to finish things. Sooners will try to win it, taking it three straight times. It kind of allows you to focus a little bit more on just that one thing as Hodge rifles one across here to get Nicole Hill. But there's less scout, scout, scout. And Monticelli proves herself time and time again. She's going to get more opportunity. Corona rolls this one over to Lilio, and the Sooners are one out away from another win. Camille Corona had been two for two. But a beautiful spot for Monticelli with the screwball. Monticelli gets the strikeout to finish it, and the Sooners win 12-1 in a five-inning run rule. Oklahoma goes to 28 and one on the season and strong innings from Carly Keeney SJ Guerin pitches one inning Peyton Monticelli as well and lots of offense as is typical for the top ranked three time defending national champions a grand slam from Alyssa Brito and two two run home runs from Alina Torres.